Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Good morning, wherever it is you find yourself. Very happy to have you with us today for this uh, great webinar in Vase Mobile Profit Tools, a fantastic marriage to be made. And uh, we want to make sure that this works the best for you. So here, that's what we're going to cover today. Some excellent tips, ways to make sure that you're getting the most efficiency for your time uh, and usage out of both Profit Tools and Vase Mobile to make this a huge success for you and your business. So we look forward to covering all that. My name is Kevin McKay. I am Director of Customer Success here at Envase, uh, here to make things uh, successful for you as possible with using these excellent tools. So in a minute, we're going to invite Heather Maynard, who is our Director of Training for Profit Tools, to walk us through some of these keys that we can see uh, within Profit Tools that is going to show us how that relationship mobile can work, can work fluidly, can work beautifully and support you and your business. Now, you'll notice we're using the nice program of Zoom here, which means there's a Q&A, there's a chat function. Please do use those. You have the professionals here. You're going to see Heather in a moment. She's going to walk us through this. Now is a great time to ask questions that you've wondered about, you've thought about this tool. Uh, please do that, and we'll uh, we'll have those. Uh, we'll go over those at the end of the session. All right, good. So we have that covered. We're recording this too to watch back uh, whenever you might like to. Let's jump right into it. Profit Tools Mobile, we mentioned it, it can be like a marriage, right? And there are keys to successful relationships. Well, what are they? We're going to talk about four keys uh, to making sure that mobile is working the best for you. So here's the four things that we're going to cover in our next few minutes together. Driver setup, setup. how to make sure that we're, if we're giving individualized access, that can make things more efficient for you and your business. Lease types understanding how these are organized to make sure we're using them accurately and correctly. Dispatch order, hey man, who wants less headaches? I certainly do, and I bet you do too. So if we figure out some tips, some tricks about sequencing, that's going to save you a lot of time, effort, and money. And of course, location. So the word again is efficiency, how we organize ourselves, where we put things, uh, within the tool is going to make it uh, work even better for us within Profit Tools. And then after that, we're going to show you just briefly how that interface looks uh, on the admin side of mobile to make sure that you can clearly see how this interaction works. Okay, that's what we're going to cover. It's going to go quick. It's going to be very useful. And again, any questions you have, you want to raise them, uh, you can type them in at any time. We'll cover that at the end. Okay, enough of me. The great Heather Maynard is joining us, training for uh, Director of Training for Profit Tools. Hello, Heather. Hello, Kevin. Thank you very much. There we go. I'm uh, going to take away screen control and I want you to take it over and, and uh, you can lead it from here. All righty. Give me just one second while I share my screen. No problem. And we should all be seeing my profit tool screen, correct? That, that's it. It's up. Beautiful. So as Kevin mentioned, today we're going to go over some tips that will help make dispatch easy and efficient while using Envase Mobile. So the number one tip is going to be starting with the proper setup of the drivers. So I'm going to come right inside of here to employee info, and I'm going to click the employee box, and I have set up a test driver for us to review. So obviously we want the driver name and then the quick reference so we can see them on the board. But for the Envase mobile piece, it is very important that we categorize them correctly so they can either be owner operator or company. And it's also very important that we put an email address in. That email address is the login that the driver will use for the app, which also means that they cannot share with other drivers. So there will be unique logins and unique email addresses for those drivers. Our next step is to go over the equipment lease type so that the driver knows what type of equipment they will be grabbing. So I'm gonna come right here to system, setup, equipment, and per diem slash rental setup. So your line types have probably already been set up and sometimes you can have them be unique for your company. However, the most important pieces are right here. So when the driver sees a line, he is seeing that information or she is seeing that information from this field right here and then the type. So that'll indicate what type of equipment the driver is moving. If for any reason your lease types do not look like this, we can definitely get you with a trainer who can assist with cleaning that up. And finally, I have created an order for us to look at. 
And it's going to be very important that we put container numbers in, especially on imports, if we know those container numbers. If it is an export, it's going to be important that we use our unknowns. So to create an unknown, we're just going to go right inside the equipment and select chassis, and you'll notice that it gives it a unique placeholder. And then right here is that line type that I did mention. So you can see the line and then the type of equipment. So the driver will be able to see that as well. It is very important that the sequence of events are correct. So things like hook, deliver, drop, or if you're doing any additional movements like a chassis split, we can add that in, but we wanna make sure that those events are going in properly. Otherwise it could potentially cause an error. And then of course, if we have a rate table associated, we can add that rate table. Now, if for some reason the events are not correct, the system will actually warn you ahead of time before it even gets to Envasi Mobile. So I'm gonna take this hook and I'm actually gonna move it down to the bottom so you can see an incorrect sequence of events. There we go, let me grab the, the drop instead. <laughs> So we should be seeing a red check mark on the version, which will actually allow us to know that there is an incorrect sequence of events. However, if we're using the wizard to create the orders, it will create them properly. Now for the driver and what the driver will be able to see, we wanna make sure that we put any notes in for the drivers. So they are associated to the event notes. We also want to make sure that we put the weight and the pieces or quantity in the correct spot. So on the freight line right here, if we double click and open it, this is the quantity or pieces that the driver will be seeing and then the total weight. The driver will also be able to see again, the line type, the size, a master bill of lading for imports, a booking for exports, which those sit right here. There's your booking and master bill of lading. The seal, the total weight, which again sits right here, your quantity, and then the event notes, as well as any appointments that are associated. So if you've associated a scheduled appointment right here, they'll be able to see that scheduled appointment and they'll also be able to see any notes that you place inside of there, which is really handy for things like pickup number or additional information that the driver might need. Now, the following fields are the fields that the driver is actually able to update. They are able to update the container and chassis as long as there is a placeholder there. So it's important to create those unknown placeholders as well as the seal. They'll also be able to update with arrival, departure, and confirmations. And those are all the important tips inside of the profit tool side. And now for the admin portal, This is what our admin portal looks like. So when we log in, you'll have this nice login. You can create the account. And then you'll see a list of drivers. So anytime you create a driver, it will automatically go over to Envasi Mobile. And then all you have to do is click the enable to enable that driver. You also have the ability to chat with the drivers, which is an awesome feature just in case you need that dialogue back and forth or if they have any questions. And that is what the portal looks like. Heather, that is so easy. You made it look so easy. I know it is so easy. And I'm going to pass that screen back to you. I'm going to hit the stop share. <laughs> All right. Excellent job, Heather, uh, walking us through that. It's, it's that straightforward. It's that simple. Just to highlight again what we covered there. The driver setup. Um, oh, there we go. There, now it's up. Driver setup. So the access individual for each driver, the types that are there, making sure that order sequence is accurate. That's going to save you troubles. Those little red checks, like she mentioned, and of course where to keep all our data. And it's really nice to uh, be able to look at an example of that, uh, an example of the admin side of things too. I thought was really really helpful. Um, so. Questions. I want to go to our next thing. We have one question from Chris, and happy to take others. One others here too. Uh, Chris asked uh, in the admin portal, 
chat being able to see the time chat was sent. It's more of a suggestion. Yes. I think he's saying yeah. a suggestion. So if we could see when that time was, and that's definitely something we can take up with our uh, dev team. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we're able to show chat in there. Not currently at the time how long it's been sitting there or something like that, but it's actually a really good suggestion, Chris. I, I appreciate that. Uh, but for anyone else, there is a chat function available, which is really good to be able to see that. Now, how about um, um, any other questions, folks? By the way, type them in. Go ahead. We have a minute to do that. Um, Heather, for yourself, um, how do so you showed us where the, the drivers are listed? Is it very complex to swap out? So, say, change one driver to another name? Is that a complex thing to do? So what you would do if there was a driver, let's say there was a driver that was leaving the company, what we would do is we would actually deactivate that driver. And what deactivating that driver does is it means that driver will no longer have any loads. And then in the portal or the admin portal, you would actually disable that driver. So it's very easy, not necessarily a... Um, you know, swapping one for another, more of following the proper process of deactivating the driver and then creating the new driver that exists. Nice. And if someone already has profit tools, what do they have to, to do to add mobile? Absolutely. So one of our very first steps would be getting your account manager involved. And if you're not quite sure who that account manager is, you can definitely reach out to your trainer or support. They will provide you with the sales order, which will then allow you to start the process of setting that up. There are some key components. You do have to be on version uh, 7.0 or higher because we are using API connection. So it will require an upgrade and some setup on the back end. Very nice. Thank you for that. Yeah, and if you're interested in seeing more in mobile, what we can do is talk more. We can look at more examples, a little more interaction with that admin side of things to be able to fully understand that. But you see up on the screen two email addresses, mine, Kevin uh, McHale at Invase Technologies, and Heather H. Maynard at Invase. Uh, if you're interested, you want to learn more, please reach out to me. You can reach out to Heather as well, and we'll get you in touch with the right people to take the, the next steps further and that. Heather, anything else? I think that was all our questions. I think we got it all. I Heather, think we did. Heather, thank you very much for being here, for walking us through us, getting us those key questions that we wanted to cover that are going to make the interaction between Profit Tools and mobile so successful. And of course, we encourage anyone who's able to hear this, if you have more questions at all, please reach out and we'll record this. Make sure it's up so you can watch it again if you want to look at those tips as well. So to Heather, thank you very much. And to all those who attended, thank you very much. And we hope you have a great rest of the day. Thank, Thank you. you.